Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go over planning a trip to Hawaii on a budget. Obviously we are not in Hawaii anymore. We're back home in Canada. Um, enjoying... This isn't an ocean, just a lake. <laughs> yeah, enjoying the cabin during the coronavirus. Uh, so we hope you're all staying safe right now too. This past February, we um, spent about 16 days traveling to Hawaii and we did it for under 2,000 American dollars per person, which we thought was pretty good. So in this video, we are going to go over everything um, and show you how we did it. For those of you who don't know us, I'm David. I'm Kaylee. And we run a travel and adventure blog called Made to Travel. We're passionate about activities that get you outside and off the beaten path. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified when we post a new video every week. All right, so first thing we want to chat with you guys about is accommodation. And this is where we were able to save so much money compared so to staying money. in like nice resorts and hotels. Um, we stayed in campgrounds and just camped throughout Hawaii. And county campgrounds, state campgrounds, and private campgrounds all are a little different when it comes to price range. But we stayed in a lot of county campgrounds and we were only spending six to $12. That's for both of us per night. So we saved a ridiculous amount of money there. State campgrounds um, are a little more expensive and then private campgrounds are a little more expensive but you won't be spending more than like $30 per night. And all these campgrounds are like on the beach and they've got like washrooms and lots of them have like water fountains and stuff like that you can fill your water bottles up at. Yeah. They're all really beautiful and you'll literally save thousands of dollars. So nice, yeah. On your trip. So the question that we get asked all the time is how we made camping in Hawaii work. A lot of people don't really, like, I think a lot of people think it'll be harder than it is, to be honest with you. So Flying down with all your gear, it's tough. Yeah, but so we brought our tents and we brought our backcountry sleeping bags just for hikes that we were doing. Yeah. Um, but everything else we just bought there. So you could you could buy a tent at Walmart or whatever mm -hmm. once you arrive. There's lots of gear there at Walmart and there's also some, a couple camping stores in Oahu that go. Uh, yeah, and so we just bought like an air mattress, we bought sheets, we bought, make sure to pump. buy a blanket. At first yes. we didn't think we yes. needed a blanket. You definitely yeah. need a blanket. Even if it's hot out, it gets cold at night. Yeah. Buy a blanket. Um, and yeah, an air pump. Buy some nice pillows too, because that makes a big difference. Yeah, and honestly all of that stuff I think cost us like $40. And uh, we were set. So you can also rent tents from some yeah. of the campgrounds You can rent stuff. gear, yeah. But yeah, you can just buy one at the beginning of your trip and use it throughout. Yes. Super easy. So in comparison, if you were to stay kind of in an Airbnb, like a private room in an older house, uh, we found that that cost kind of from 90 to close to 200 American dollars a night. And then yeah. if you want to stay in a nice resort on the beach in Hawaii, it's like 500 to a thousand dollars a night. It's, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah. So you <laughs> can see true. how spending like $12 a night or $800 a night, you're really going to save <laughs> so much money. Camping. Yeah. It's all about how you want to travel and how long you want to stay there for and your budget. So. Next up is transportation, and there's three different ways to get around the different islands. Um, there's buses and public transportation, uh, there's taxis and Ubers, and then there's renting a car. We decided to rent our own car because it provided practical. Yeah, and so much flexibility. And uh, there's a few companies in Hawaii um, that you can rent people's cars from that we got a really good deal on. Yeah. Turo is what we used, so that's like a really good deal. You have your own vehicle, you can come and go whenever you want, you can go grocery shopping when you want. It's just much more flexible, we found. Um, and super popular, that's how most people do it, especially yeah. when you're camping yeah, as well. Yeah, camping, like we pretty much just lived out of the back of our Jeep, yeah. so we were able to have all of our camping gear in there. We could go hiking, you could do whatever. And it's just a lot of the places on the island are not really accessible by bus, I would say. Um, especially if you want to do a lot of hiking. So you're going to be like asking taxis to drop you off in the middle of nowhere and then come pick you up three hours later. So <laughs> yeah, Uber is big on Oahu, but definitely not as big on Kauai. Um, the other thing is the local bus. So if you're going to be just kind of staying like in town or in one spot, you could definitely kind of get um, a taxi there and then yeah. take a bus or walk everywhere. But if you're planning on really traveling around the island, we would definitely recommend renting the vehicle. And it's not yeah. that expensive at the end of the day. I think we averaged $30 per 
a day per person, including like renting the vehicles, gas, and insurance. So. When it comes to renting Ontario and also booking your campsites, you want to do it in as much notice as possible. Yes. Like when you plan your trip out, that's another big thing when it comes to budget is being able to like book all these things well in advance. So it's planned and you don't have to worry about jumping around and spending more money. Yeah, a lot of the good vehicles or uh, places yeah. book up quickly. So if yeah, you can try to book them a few months in advance, that's very helpful. Oh, the other thing we wanted to talk about was um, inter-island flights. So for us, we flew into Oahu and then we flew over to Kauai and back to Oahu. And um, it's very easy to fly in between islands. There's like multiple flights a day and it's usually about like $150 round trip. Yeah. Super cheap. So just book that like a, a week in advance too. And um, it's really easy to hop back and forth. One other thing when it comes to transportation, if you plan on renting your own car is gas. Um, with the islands being so small, speed limits being like 67, 70 kilometers an hour, um, you're not going to be filling up on gas very much. Like we were in Kauai for 10 days. We like drove back and forth around the island a couple times. And I think we only filled up twice. Yeah. Like, and filling up a vehicle is like 40 or $50 US. So um, it we really didn't spend that much on gas at all. No, like a couple hundred dollars for the whole trip. Oh yeah. Yeah. Next on the list is food. So um, food in Hawaii can get very expensive very quickly. If you're- Also so good. <laughs> so good, yeah. It's our favorite, one of our favorite parts of Hawaii. Um, but, so if you're going to the tourist restaurants and stuff like that, you can easily spend like 50, to 100 oh, yeah. American dollars yeah. per meal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can also do it super cheap. You could live off like a cup of noodles and oatmeal and we met a few people doing that. Oh, um, yeah. Our personal deal. favorite was food trucks. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you eat, you get big portions, you eat really good food. There's tons of food trucks all over. Um, and I think we spent $32 a day-ish mm -hmm. each on food, so. Yeah, reasonable prices, big dishes, healthy dishes. Just an all-around good option, I think. Yeah. yeah. And Less time cooking, more time exploring the islands and enjoying the local food. We have two videos on Oahu food trucks and Kauai food trucks and other cheap eats. So if you haven't already checked those out, go over, check them out. They're really good and just fantastic food. Yeah, the best way to you'll, eat in Hawaii for sure. You'll love seeing the dishes as well because well, <laughs> get so it excited. Gets, gets you so <laughs> hungry just looking at it. It makes you want to go back to Hawaii. Yeah, some really good food. We'll link both of those videos below. So another thing is water. If you're camping, you can buy um, big five gallon. Yeah, there's different sizes. Yeah, you can get like a whole bunch of different sizes. Yeah, but once you get a couple um, the, of the big jugs, um, there's fill stations and I think it's 50 cents for a gallon or two dollars for five gallons i believe was the prices and the fill stations are everywhere they're outside grocery stores um they're by laundry mats like sometimes we go to our laundry fill up water all in one stop really nice really handy yeah. and super cheap really cheap and you're not wasting a bunch of plastic too yeah. like we always kind of bring our water bottles and try not to be drinking out of little plastic bottles oh yeah all the time, so. yeah and you never have to worry about running out like if you wake up in the morning camping and you're like oh let's go for a hike you don't have to worry about Stop you know, grabbing like five gallons of water because you're going to be crushing it through the whole day. <laughs> so the last thing on this list is activities, which um, is a lot of people's favorite part of a trip. Yeah. Uh, Second best next to food yes. probably in Hawaii. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're baking Could first. be first. Battle for first. <laughs> um, but there's a ton of cheap or free activities that you can do in Hawaii. So you can go hiking, mm -hmm. uh, surfing. You can, you can bring your own snorkel gear or you can rent snorkel gear for like $5 a day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Beach hopping is another one. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do for free. There's also a lot of really expensive, really cool yes. activities in Hawaii. <laughs> that are worth the money, some of them, for sure. Yeah, so we found like for us, it was more important. We saved so much money on um, accommodation that we were able to spend money on some of those things that we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So we went diving with sharks. Mm -hmm. We um, did a helicopter tour over the Nepali coast, which we would highly recommend. And we did some catamaran tours. Um, and we were still able to keep our budget under $2,000 each for 16 days. So yeah. um, you kind of have to decide, I guess, where you want to spend your money. And for us, it's like exactly. food and activities. Mm -hmm. and, and so we made up for that with the accommodation. With that being said though, 
accommodation like camping on a beach. It was still pretty good. I, I don't so feel like we were fun. missing yeah. out on the resorts. Like camping on the beach was amazing. Spend some money on good gear, like a good sleeping bag, a good mattress, be as comfortable as you can. And even if you don't like sleeping outside, just toughing it out and why for like the price is honestly worth it. It's totally worth it. And yeah, yeah they're also nice. You can also do like, you know, camp for three days and then stay one night in a hotel so you can shower and yeah. that kind of stuff. You can mix it up that way too and that'll yeah. still save you a ton of money. The showers aren't heated in Hawaii, so if you're getting tired of cold showers on a beach. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we did hit that point. You think it's warm, so you think like, oh, it'll be fine. And so our routine was we would go usually for hike in the morning and then we'd hit up a beach because they have free public showers. Um, and even when it's like 25 degrees and sunny out, the cold water isn't that fun to shower yeah. in. So the showers are the only thing we've never been lacking. <laughs> So at the end of the day, we spent about $200 each on accommodation, 500-ish uh, on transportation, about 500 each on food, and about 600 each on activities. So uh, about $1,800 each. Um, Super for... reasonable. You wouldn't think that much when we, like when we were first planning our trip to Hawaii, we were budgeting a lot more. Yeah, like thousands more, but we were actually able to do it for really cheap. Yeah. And that's how you can do it for really cheap too. It would make a perfect post-COVID trip. It would actually make a perfect post COVID trip. Just in case you were thinking, getting a little antsy, being at home with the family too much. Yeah, are you getting antsy? Let us know. We're getting, we're getting, <laughs> we're getting a little antsy. antsy. <laughs> we realize that we're very lucky to be um, healthy and where we are, but we're, we're itching to travel again for sure. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, um, and hit that bell because we're going to be posting a new video every week. So want to be notified on that. <laughs> We have a ton of videos and a ton of blog posts on um, more specific things we did in Hawaii, like, from yeah. hikes to food, uh, accommodation, everything. So we'll link a bunch of those below. Make sure to check them out. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. See you in the next one.